In the next few videos, we're going to talk about chromatography, an important separation technique for the MCAT. So to start, chromatography is a laboratory technique used to separate compounds based on their interactions with two phases. The two phases are always the same. There is a stationary phase and there is the mobile phase. Now based off the names, it should be fairly apparent the difference between the two. The stationary phase is fixed in place and the mobile phase moves and it actually passes through the stationary phase. And the way your separation works is your compounds can interact with both the stationary phase and the mobile phase. If they interact the stationary phase, they will be slowed down. So they won't move very quickly, they'll move slowly. Whereas if your compounds interact more with the mobile phase, they're gonna get pushed through the stationary phase faster. So a way you can think about it is compounds that interact more with the stationary phase elute later And at the same time, you can say the opposite statement. Compounds that interact more with the mobile phase will elute first. All right, and remember, this applies to all types of chromatography, and we're gonna talk a lot about different types. Thin layer chromatography, column chromatography, HPLC, gas chromatography, and more. But all of them work the same way. Whatever compounds interact more with the stationary phase, elute later, and compounds that interact more with the mobile phase, elute first. All right. So let's take a look at our first example, which is thin layer chromatography. Most of you probably recall doing thin layer chromatography at some point in your organic chemistry lab classes. So this is a technique that is used to separate small quantities of compounds by polarity. You probably recall when you're doing your TLC on that silica coated plate, you would only add a little, little tiny spot of your sample. So this is not used for large scale separations of compounds. However, this still has its uses. The reason why people use TLC is that it's very easy to monitor reactions. For example, if you have a reaction where your reactant is nonpolar and your product is polar, you can look at the TLC plate over time to track how your reaction is proceeding. Did your reaction just start? Is it almost finished or is it complete? Another thing it's useful is for is determining the purity of compounds. If your compound is pure, if you run a TLC plate, you should only see one spot. If you see a smear or multiple spots, then you have impurities in your mixture. So how does TLC work? Well, again, there's a stationary phase and there's a mobile phase. The stationary phase is a plate that is coated with silica gel. This silica gel is very polar. The mobile phase is going to be a non-polar solvent. So the idea here is compounds that interact more with your stationary phase are going to be polar compounds. So polar compounds will travel slowly. Compounds that are non-polar instead will interact more strongly with the mobile phase and move more quickly. So in this case, we have an example of a silica coated plate. And as you recall, the first thing you do with your plate is you draw a line where you're going to spot your samples. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and add a spot right in the middle. So here, we're going to spot the sample. Once you've spotted your sample, you can go ahead and put it inside a developing chamber which typically is just going to be a beaker with your mobile face, some of your solvent inside. 
Now, once your silica coated plate is in the developing chamber, the solvent, the mobil phase, is going to start to move up the silica coated plate by capillary action. And at some point, it's going to reach a line close to the top of the plate. So you recall, before your silica plate reaches the end, you're going to take your plate out, and then you're going to have a line here that's going to mark how far did the solvent travel. And at the same time, you can then take your silica coated plate and you can use different visualization techniques to visualize the samples and your original mixture. And you might see something like this. In this case, the mixture that we spotted ended up being two compounds. And what you would want to be able to know for these two compounds is, first of all, which one is more polar, which one is less polar. And as you recall, as the solvent moves up, it's going to push the compounds in your mixture up as well. However, the compound that interacts more strongly with the stationary phase is going to move slower. So this spot moved more slowly, so it interacted more strongly with the stationary phase. So this must be the more polar compound. which at the same time is going to mean that this spot over here is going to represent the less polar compound. And it moved faster because it interacted more strongly with the mobile phase, so it moved more quickly up the plate. All right, so that's how thin layer chromatography works. In our next video, we're going to go into a little bit more detail about TLC and how to quantify the movement of compounds up the TLC plate.